Okay, um, hello YouTube. This is a video about uh, bat me as a Bachelor DAO investor. So uh, right now I've invested um, around $40,000 into Bachelor. I mean, it's actually worth a bit less. So we can go basically to Bachelor itself and see how much it's worth right now. Just refresh. Okay, so this refresh at the moment it's worth Okay, we just load, load, load. It take quite some time. Okay, so right now it's worth a bit less. But I mean, at the moment I'm collecting a lot of uh, batchers. And my goal is basically I'm a long-term investor. So even if the price right now is only $7, I basically think long-term the batch is worth about uh, 20 or $30 at least. Because I mean, you know, you basically have to buy when it's cheap, but it's worth, I mean, you buy something, it's cheap on the price, but it's worth a lot, right? So um, I basically think it's worth more. So let me just go uh, more into the details. I mean, right now I'm, I'm doing an analysis. I mean, if you want, you can basically track my uh, investment on uh, under my ENS uh, domain, uh, highnakamoto.eth. Right now I'm going to my uh, spreadsheet. So uh, how do I track? So basically there are several things I track. I mean, one thing I track is I call, I track the TVL. Uh, total value locked. So I basically go every day uh, to here and then basically uh, what I analyze is uh, the T TVL. Let me just put on Discord. That just keeps annoying me. It's not anymore there. Okay, right now, I mean, every day I basically go uh, to uh, to uh, D-Bank and I basically crack the total locked value. So right now, let's just, let me just do it like this. Okay. So uh, today, it's the 23rd. Oh, uh, yeah, basically. Okay, right now. To do it like this okay okay so right now the, today we have a total locked value of uh, three 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 five seven nine zero six zero so that's the total locked value and i'm basically gonna put this in the sheet that i basically put okay so basically this one is a tlv so go to tlv tbl i mean so basically today we have a 23rd and then we have basically, I uh, just have to adjust it. So right now we see the amount that we basically have added. So maybe it is a formula error 29. Um, yeah, so right now we have lost value. So right now, then I basically copy paste the history. So I basically track all these data every day. I uh, basically go uh, to, let just move this somewhere else. Oh, hi, tools. Okay, it's better. So basically, I just basically, track all those things. So this is the website itself. Here you can have a, something like the idea of the price. You can basically see, I mean, this one is not really super important for me because here I can just basically track the price of Batcher itself. I mean, you can also track it in coin market cap, but I mean, let's just go here. So it just basically see the price here it is it's more expensive here, but right now it's it went a bit down. But I, the thing that matters for me is how much is it worth, not what is the price. So. So let's just go. I mean, the other things I also track is the Twitter. So I basically go here and basically uh, copy paste the amount of Twitters because the bigger the community, the more people that are going to invest. So right now we have 7,000. It's going to put this here also in the social media. So basically the Twitter count, I ran on a bit behind. <laughs> okay, so we basically see uh, the amount of Twitter users getting more. And then we go to the next thing we go. Uh, why doesn't this keep always come? Okay, so the next thing, we right now don't know why the Discord thing, I always have a mistake with this thing. It doesn't actually show it so easy so I can see. Oh, right now it shows. So right now it's like 5,000. 5, 3, 5, 2. So that's the number count. So we're going to add this thing to the list, social media. Because I wasn't able to do it yesterday. So uh, bear with me. Right now, we have more users. More users means uh, more investors, more uh, demand, and uh, more uh, the price is going to go up long term. Okay. Then the next thing I want to track is uh, I'm just go to the first link, the useful links. So basically, this one is I mean, you should check every day is there a new uh, news? News basically means something good. If there's news about something, it means a uh, development, something is happening. So right now, I think Bachelor hasn't done any news. Else I would have known. Okay, so there is actually no news. 
about Badger right now, which is usually not a good thing. But I mean, at the world, they're working on Dick, and I basically wonder when it's going to come. The other thing is Etherscan, e Telegram users, Dick parameters. So right now we are discussing about this thing. So let's check it about the Telegram user. How many Telegram users do we have right now? So right now, oh, we have right now 5258. Uh, two, two, okay. And let's put this in the, in the, in the social media. 2528. So we have uh, only like today, we only have uh, let's put this one in a nice way. I think I put it something on the left. I, th I think I like it on the left more. Okay. And uh, let me just rate it. Make it black. Okay. Okay. So we have more uh, users. And so people, users keep growing. And then what else do we have? So the other useful links are the dick parameters. So right now, Right now, what is going to happen? So right now, Dick's supposed to be come out on 20th. So right now, there's some delay. I don't know why. But there's supposed to be a launch date. And there's going to be a 24-hour rebase. And there's supposed to be a multiplier. And then first first rebase should be after 24 hours of launch. And right now, it hasn't launched yet. So I don't know what's going on. Because I'm mean, trying and read. And then there's supposed to be eight, eight weeks of farming. 40% goes to the treasury. 40% is farming rewards, 5% goes to the team, and 15% is airdrop who people have created the first, I mean, Bashir will create first liquidity with funds from Treasury one-to-one -one with uh, DIG and VPDC. So right now, I mean, initial set will earn DIG. So the initial sets, I mean, all current sets and DIG, VBDC, Sushi, recursive, staking, so on. So these people are supposed to get um and then right now they have done some other way of disputing coins and then people are discussing and I think there was some voting somewhere. Okay, I mean, let me just go to the voting page. I mean, let's go to the main page. So what is going on at the moment? So right now, there oh, is the improvement proposal. So right now here, people have done something like confirmed. I think here people is where people are voting. Let me just check. Let's go to the top. And I basically think there should be voting. So what else the results? So right now, basically people want to see the results. So right now it should launch right now. And then people want to have the, the airdrop should be wasted for eight weeks. So they basically don't, don't put all the tokens on the market. And right now they want to have a high market cap, but they want to distribute a, a, amount of, a big amount of tokens. So they want to put 6,200. So that's basically quite a big market cap for it. And if they, I mean, if it is with less tokens, so it's just you get less tokens, but there's a, a bigger chance of rebasing. So the, if you basically see on the votings, there are two different, like some people, they want the biggest amount. They want to get as many tokens as possible. The other, they just want to get as little as possible. So they're basically expecting to go up the value. So, I mean, I basically tend towards more of the, um, the smaller one. We just get less, but then you basically get a lot more money because if people will just basically buy in and then more people will join. But that's my uh, my preferable. But I basically I voted by mistake. I voted for, so I think this one's probably gonna get approved. Anyway, so go to the next point. The next point I want to track. I mean, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a newsletter myself. So I'm gonna make the link after. And then basically, we see the set vision. We see the anal analysis tools. So here we can go here, and then it basically analyzes for myself. I mean, uh, which one, how much yield does it make? What's the distribution and so on? I mean, it's a, it's a super useful tool. So I can basically see how much, how much batcher I'm, I'm have, but right now, I mean, there's two ways to calculate. So I mean, I, do, I will also do the other one. It's called the uh, one fish, the set vision. So this one also gives you something, an idea of how much you actually earn or how much you make. So right now there is something happening. Okay, so right now it's connecting with my wallet. Okay, say so yes, approve. So I connect two wallets. Okay, so right now badger is connecting. Okay, so right now if you have a you have a thousand dollar invested in different uh, uh, farms, then you're supposed to get different rewards. The biggest reward you basically get for the badger VPD. So this one is the pool that is an Uniswap. So you basically get around nearly one badger for thousand. So basically, one batch of, let's say, let's say we say the ten dollar, they will get that nine dollar, but actually a bit less. But I mean, I basically think batches are worth at least ten dollar. 
Okay, so right now you get something like nine dollar on thousand dollar. That's basically a huge reward. So you basically in, in thirty days, nine dollar divided by uh, thousand. So it's around ten percentage, and let's calculate in one year. That would basically be a uh, tripling my my investment. So that one is a high high uh, reward ratio. But here you just basically calculate on the three base one way. So run it. It's Kind of going up again and then here we basically have the uh the badger here where i basically have my badger vest uh, invested and then basically it's going to create like a bit around half and then the other ones are the on the bitcoin pools that are generating value so let's look at the other ones so we look at the yield form right now this one is the the biggest one the batch they want to raise the biggest reward so badger and vbtc you're supposed to get around 1.5 percentage on a daily basis well, because of batch. But I mean, most of, most of people just basically get the batch and then they sell it. And then right now, yeah, but for me, I'm basically, I basically keep buying more. So I basically invested here. I'm, I'm, I'm buying my, I buy batchers. I bought batches and right now I just keep uh, staking them. So basically you see right now I'm staking around uh, 4,497 batches. And my goal is to around, have around 6,000 badges myself after this um, this um, liquidity mining uh, stuff is over. And then, yeah, what else do I want to say? So I I trick, I mean, this one, I mean, Dune analytics, I don't actually see a lot of things happening there. I think uh, you just see the fees that are, that are I think that what are paid or used. Right now, this outer feed I call. I don't. I don't understand yet how how it actually works or um what else what else it means. But I mean, usually when it's the fees go up, it's basically positive. But right now, it's not. It doesn't even track everything. So that's the thing. I'm basically. I don't really understand right now how how it works because it doesn't track everything. And yeah, that's the thing. So for me, at the moment, it's not useful. And then, I mean, D llama is basically it just shows. It's basically the same thing like um the bank it shows the locked value so it just shows the trend it's just calculated a bit different and it doesn't give actually more information so basically d bank is better so i prefer d bank so zero on d bank so let's just go to a uh, d bank itself so d bank itself if i go here i can basically see from the ranking where it is so you basically see right now i mean i basically think D batcher has the potential to be in top 10. So right now, at the moment, it's not in top 10. So we just wait until all this thing is over. Okay, one minute. So right now we are over. So right now we see like it's it's one of the pools that grows quite fast. So B Barn Bridge grows faster at the moment, but B batch is right now on the rank. So it has it has surpassed Ren BTC. And uh, for me, if I look at the evaluation. The problem that it solves, I would evaluate it around. I mean, here you basically see the one here. They, it's difficult to grow. I mean, Uniswap has got a lot of gains today. It's already back at two billions, and then it has surpassed the compound, it's compound Arbe Synthetics, Sushi Swap. So, Sushi Swap is losing. Harvest is actually also not moving. But I basically think I basically see Batcher better than uh, better than uh, Harvest. So I basically think it should be long here. So right now we can easily, I mean, I basically think that the batcher has the same potential to do something the same, the thing that basically uh, harvested. So harvest was growing from uh, here to here to 1 billion in eight weeks. So I basically think batcher has the same potential. Because right now we haven't, you don't have, you don't have the dick actually, but the dick can create a lot of FOMO. So the FOMO get, gets a lot of people to join, the price will go up. And then basically, I mean, I don't think here there was the hack, but I don't think, and then people gonna get the negative rebase and then probably people, some people, oh, they don't understand, so they, they will kind of get out. So some people will just not stay for long. So I basically think, but long-term, we basically see here it was small. So right now, right now I basically think uh, Beach Batcher is around the same level like here. And then soon I basically think it's supposed to kick off. And then, but it should grow over time overall. So this is right now the 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 way the T T V L has grown, and then basically I'm analyzing, comparing um, 
the historical price of uh, B batches. So I basically put the harvest finance here in the price together with uh, the, uh, yeah, right now I haven't put it with the lock, but I put it somewhere. So anyway, here it was $6. So we have the open price, high price, low price, close price. So basically see right now here it was around $9, $6, $7, $8, $9, $12, $10, and so on. So right now we basically see the price. Yeah, I think, let me just go and update. I just have to go to coin market cap. Okay, let me just go to the link itself. So useful links. So, ah, here yeah, it's. So yeah, that's also what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> okay, sorry. So I basically go here right now. B batch has gone some uh, values. I go to historical data here, and then uh, from here, I just copy paste the new data from here. I think up to here. Okay, so add them to the sheet. Go to batcher historical data and I just basically paste it inside here. Okay, oh, and just check. How do I? Okay, let me just switch. Okay, first of all, I want to change this to white and then I change this to color to uh, black. Okay, so right now I have to, and then this one is supposed just to calculate this itself. So let me just do like this. And then I basically have to change the or do I do this? Maybe. Oh no, let me just do it like all the way. I just have to copy paste a bit. That's a bit of work. So let me just move this one here. So let's just do this one here. Copy, cut, and put it here. And move this one here back to this one. There's a bit some extra work. Okay, then here. And then this one I move down here. Here. And then you can move the whole thing here up. Okay, so right now I have the, the market cap of it kind of going down. The volume, we can track the volume. And we right now here, what happened if harvest finds? So harvest finds in comparison. So here, I mean, the market cap was around less. So it was only like seven. Because here we're not tracking the whole full, the full um uh, token because they're still gonna be talking this route, but here I basically calculated all the tokens that is um check from the I mean, 21 million with the amount. But I mean, they're basically the distribution, I mean, it's too complicated to do the math, so I just basically put always the full amount. So right now, the price of uh harvest basically started around around ten hundred dollars, and then basically it was not moving up, it was down. I mean, basically, you can see like the same trend, so the same pattern, and then suddenly here it's skyrocket here. And then he went like four more, one two hundred sixty, and then basically right now it's basically establishing itself. So it was three hundred. So basically, thing something like this can also happen. I was expecting this thing to happen with the dig, but the dig didn't came. So right now, I basically think this was happening here, probably gonna be a delay. And um, about long term, we are staying, we staying at a high level, I think. So right now here. I mean, somewhere here was the hack. I think here was somewhere here was the hack. But actually, I mean, this has still some long part. I mean, it's still long term, a long potential to grow and get bigger. Because here it was like, and then it was like down. But right now, here it's still, I mean, I mean Harvest Farm is still a good protocol. And I also think uh, the batch protocol is also something that's going to stay because it's linked to Bitcoin. It's going to bring the whole, uh, the whole uh, Bitcoin money to DeFi, and that's really something that's gonna, they are trying to solve it. Right, it's a bit more complicated, but uh, because it takes quite, you have to have partnership with people. Actually, the money keeps growing, so people are trusting they can solve it. And right now, just, you just have to wait for updates. We have to wait for a DIG uh, token to uh, get launched. We have to wait for more strategies. So we basically get a lot of news. Let's just go to uh, Twitter, I think. Uh, so here right now that we have an it's supposed I mean they did an audit thing. So Hatchy is doing auditing for Badger. Or we'll be in the last week of things. So right now we're gonna wet, get an audit thing soon. Right now people got the logo design. And right now we have a new version. Version two is coming. And then it's gonna look way nicer right now. So right now you have the, your portfolio, see the investment that I would have. I basically here it would actually show that the money I have, and then the APY, the reward I get, the cycles that we've already run through, the price, 
the multiply so you can actually see like what kind of multiply you're in so you can you're, you're in the week three so it would have this kind of multiplies you have the governments so it, it looks way nice so people can say like if they want to um uh, have a suggestion right now gabriel heinous Heine, i don't know what you mean. You basically need one click to claim restake page so right now just do one click and you don't have to do all the things so right now no problem great earned token as well so people so i also like how this link had links to strategy and feed in one version you can save a lot of more time from having to answer these questions constantly that's it. so right now yeah people making good suggestions i mean uh, gabriel heinous is a uh, i mean i like him itself because he does a lot of things and other people that people are trying to understand, people ask questions. There's a lot of interaction here, which is uh, in general is really good. I mean, it's in Satoshi na, na come when do <laughs> funny. But, I mean, people are basically people are super excited about the project. We see like uh, something is happening, but they should do something. I mean, you, you should you don't just make something updates just if nothing happens. But the moment it looks really nice. I mean, see uh, the set world how it looks. I like um, the the way it's uh, showing. And right now, it will look, probably look like uh, like Harvest Finance. I mean, it, it has the kind of the fun effect. I mean, it's a big community, and then you see like everything is so kind of easily, simply organized. And I think they will improve it. So you can easily uh, see like I mean to deposit, I and mean, that's the thing that's gonna happen. But this one takes quite some time because at the moment people are developing, and uh, yeah, I mean I prefer better to wait longer and get a good product instead of really getting just. To have a product just to have a product but at the moment i mean i'm positive i mean as soon as it will come out i basically think the price is going to go up so i'm basically going to be uh, back to four for uh, forty thousand but i mean i'm staying for the long term so i'm not i'm staking right now for the next six weeks and then basically i'm going to see um what else is going to happen i mean if the improvement I mean, for me the only reason to uh, move my money is if i would basically see uh that people are not it's not anymore the thing the product that i basically think people are promising so itself what else have i done i mean these are my investors it's not important actually for you but here i basically want to see the, the holders so right now we've around my goal is basically around six thousand i would basically be in the top 20 of the uh, of the investors but i mean a lot of money is actually also in in the pools so you you actually don't know exactly who has how much in where so basically but i mean if from the hoodlers or for people who are sending uh i would be actually uh, quite in the top so there's a lot of people who have less but i mean at the moment i mean i wouldn't call myself a whale at the moment because there's probably a, some people who have more badges but i mean i i kind of like badges itself and i basically want to support the project i mean the basic thing is it has a high potential and I mean, the money is one thing, one motivation, but for sure the project to make it successful. So I basically want to make with this YouTube uh, channel and to help people to understand Badger, what, what is it for, what is it used. And also want to get the team as giving me information. And uh, right now, I mean, I'm basically from Switzerland. So right now I'm going to make videos in uh, German, but also in English. So right now this video was uh, in English, but I also going to make uh, videos for the German speaking part in switzerland we have a lot of money and we basically don't have a lot of knowledge so i want to create the knowledge for people so people can understand uh, what is this about and is this a good investment or not i mean i like it as an investment basically it's a high potential and really i think it's going to bring bitcoin to DeFi, and that's the problem we have right now because right now there is no solution for a good solution that uh, people can have use bitcoins to get it to get uh, into DeFi. so right now here we basically sit around on 40, 40 billion uh, in uh, in uh, Bitcoin and nobody can actually get this access. So we have something like WrapBTC and all those things. But, I mean, where's WrapBTC? Let me just check quickly. So Ethereum has like 68 billion and already quite like 20%. I mean, uh, like how much is, let's just go to uh, DeFi Pulse. DeFi Pulse. Right now, is it, Kind of like close to 20 percent is already locked yeah i mean uh let me check so maker is doing the whole biggest dominance right now like it was more so right now the t tvl went down i don't know why so, but then because i actually see that if maker was going up but i mean okay 
with the TVL one. It was actually higher for for a short time. Okay. Mm, actually, yeah, it's okay. Anyway, so right now, I basically think if you don't get the access to the bitcoins, the people are basically hoodling bitcoins, and then they, they I mean one thing they're gonna do or what we wanna expect them to do, they wrap it. First of all, you can wrap bitcoins, and you have to trust a third party. And uh, who's who's the who's the protocol people gonna trust the most? So basically, think if I look here on um, on uh, the DeFi market, I think it says somewhere here. I think, oh, it was here, ranking. So right now, the B BTC packed protocol at the moment, most of it is VBTC, which is basically done by uh, the custodian uh, BitGo, Ren BTC as a small share so we basically see right now rent ptc only at around 20 percent and most of the uh, biggest share is uh, vptc hit ptc has some small and right now the way uh, the people at optc i think you no know, boring ptc is solving is i mean i like the way they solve the problem but i don't know if they will basically uh boring yeah boring though boring though is basically it gets it got some tractions, but I mean, will will it be bigger or not? I don't know. I mean, right now I I, I kind of understand how it works because they just put it in the uh, they put it they kind of uh, you exchange it for something else. Let me let me just go back to example. So you can just basically mint. You basically put it here, and you're gonna mint another token, and you basically it's gonna basically pay you interest. And then anytime you burn, you just bring back to your OPTC and you get your BTC back. And basically you get, you basically, uh, let me just check itself. I think you, it just basically pays you interest. And right now there's only 38 million locked. But I mean, at the moment it doesn't, I mean, I was thinking it was something good, but right now it doesn't get more traction, not more users, not more, I mean, right now it's just like, yeah, it was good in the beginning when it started. And I was like, yeah, it was good. It was good. It just keep growing up, and then price. So I don't know what happened. And yeah, you basically have to get more. You have to get more uh, Bitcoin into DeFi. And who is gonna make this? And I basically think a Batcher has the highest potential because right now they're just, they're not just wrapping Bitcoins. They, they help. They will create a demand, and the demand basically makes people wrapping their Bitcoin and putting it in DeFi, and. I basically think B batch has the highest potential to do this. I mean, comparing with Harvest Finance, I mean, I really like Harvest Finance itself. The only thing is, I don't like it because people are anonymous. That's one of the biggest problem about uh, Harvest Finance. But Harvest Finance itself, it has really interesting uh, projects. So basically, that's what I do. You have stable coins, basically on the curve, and you get a, you're gonna get curve. That's how they have. So here you basically get a pretty high API. So you basically earn a curve and you earn farm and then they sell your farm. So this is a really like this kind of yield strategy. So this is a really good, so basically B batch, I mean, um, batch does exactly the same thing. And then basically after, I think the event is over, just gonna, you're just gonna get less uh, farm. I mean, there would you get farm token and you, the other one you're still gonna get uh, batchers after the event. So they're gonna probably use it from the treasury. You're gonna dispute it, and yeah, that one is actually the product. The model is really really good. You have high yield. You can basically enjoy. You can put your farms in the in the uh, profit sharing. So I basically, they have to kind of copy a lot of ideas from me and then kind of try to figure out how to improve it. So right now, you have the profit sharing pool, and you have the Uni Swap Ether DP pool, and then we have another. VPTC pool, and then we have a lot of other pools, uh, which actually create kind of yield. And those strategies are really the thing that drives the um, drives the community and to move people. People want to have more money on, have more cash flow on their bitcoins. The only way to have people uh, put their money into a uh, to a batcher itself is basically kind of uh, creating yield with your uh, bitcoins. And right now that. The yields are pretty pretty high. So I would say right now we have we have been talking about six hundred percent, which is super super high. This are it's not an anonymous team. B batch itself, you just restake your batchers, and you got also this is what I'm doing. And they have curve, and we basically talk. I mean, fifty percent is really really good. And you have Bitcoin, you're gonna get fifty percent uh, yield. 
on your Bitcoin. I mean, who gives you 50% yield on your Bitcoin? The basic thing, this one is a super amazing um, reward. And the basic thing, right now you get you get something like the SSBTC curve. And then basically after, I think they have to kind of give another, I mean, they have to use the badges from the treasury to get the, basically they're going to make money and they're basically going to pay, basically going to pay people in badges. I think they shouldn't actually pay people in, um, in Bitcoin because they're going to make Bitcoins and basically buy Bitcoins. They're going to buy badgers. They're basically going to make Bitcoins or whatever, or they're going to make curve and then basically buy more badgers. And then basically you're going to get the, as a reward, you're going to get badgers, but it's going to be less than right now, but it's still going to be good. Like if, if it's like 20%, I mean, cannot complain. I mean, who gives you 20% on your Bitcoins? So if they basically give more than 5%, it's amazing, right? Five or ten percent on the, on Bitcoin is super amazing, and then the demand of batches is gonna go up. So they basically have to build the same system like uh, Harvest Finance, and yeah, I mean basically I see problem. Right now they here they are they are harvest on the super set. They basically use the same strategy like far uh, far uh, harvest on the farm strategy. Basically that's the solution long term. They're gonna make make a lot of super sets. Maybe or uh, the pools itself. So that's the thing I'm looking forward. So uh, I hope uh, I, this video is not too long. So um, let me know if you want the video shorter. But I mean, this is kind of the first videos. I just want to make a really overview, and then uh, in the future the updates is gonna be shorter. Okay. So thank you for watching, and uh, uh, see you in the next video.